Welcome back to Infigam friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting simplification problem on nested radical expressions. Here it is square root of 6 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 6 up to infinity plus square root of 42 plus square root of 42 plus square root of 42 up to infinity over square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 20 up to infinity. We have to find out or simplify this expression. So I will demonstrate two methods. Let me write here method number one first. And here I will consider these three nested terms separate. X I will consider this one. This one I will call Y. And denominator I will consider Z. So ultimately I have to find out X plus Y over Z. So I will calculate the value of x, y and z separately. Let me write here x I will calculate, y I will calculate and then I will substitute z also in the given expression and this is our required expression for which we are calculating or simplifying. So x will be, let me write here, x will be square root of 6 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 6 plus and so on. Consider squaring both sides. So I will write x square is equal to 6 plus again it is x. So let me write here x. I will take all the term to one side x square minus x minus 6 equal to 0. Now I will use factorization x square minus x. So factorization of 6 is 3 times 2. So I can consider minus 3x plus 2x. Addition is minus x, multiplication is minus 6x square which is true, minus 6 is equal to 0. Consider x common from first two term, so I will be writing x minus 3, 2 common from last two term, I will be writing x minus 3 once again. So factorization is done, x plus 2 times x minus 3. So from here we are having two x values, one is negative, negative 2 it is and second one is positive 3. Which one we will exempt? That is negative value. Square root cannot be negative. So this value is accepted value. Now let us consider y. I will write my y. y is square root of 42 plus square root of 42 plus square root of 42 and so on. Consider squaring again similar way. So y square is equal to 42 plus y. Take all the term to one side. y square minus y minus 42 equal to 0. 7, 6 are 42. And if I will take the difference, I will be having my middle term. So I will write minus 7y plus 6y as minus y. If you will take the product, it will be minus 42y square, which is correct. Minus 42 equal to 0. So I will take y common from first two y minus 7, 6 common from last two y minus 7 equal to 0. So I can write y plus 6 and y minus 7 equal to 0. So what I will be having here y as negative 6 and 7. Now which value I will accept and which value I will reject. So negative cannot be accepted. This 7 will be accepted as y. So far what we have calculated that is x and y value. Let me write here x is 3, y is 7. Now only concern is denominator z or z. Let me calculate z also. z is our denominator. I will write square root of 20, square root of 20, square root of 20 and so on. Consider squaring both sides. So z square will be equal to 20 plus again z we will write. Consider all the term to one side z square minus z minus 20 equal to 0. I will split my central term as minus 5z plus 4z. Minus 5z plus 4z is minus z and product is minus 20 z square or z square minus 20 equal to 0. Consider z common from first two 
z minus 5 4 common from last two z minus 5 equal to 0 so i will be writing z minus 5 times z plus 4 now which value i will accept z is equal to 5 and negative 4 which value i will accept and which value i will reject this minus 4 will be rejected as it is negative so 5 will be accepted so we have calculated so far 3 7 and denominator is 5 so let us write our expression will be x plus y over z now i will write x as 3 y 7 z is 5 so it is 10 over 5 so our answer becomes 2 this is our expression simplification by method number 1 now let us consider method number 2 this is one iteration or formula method or recursive formula method i will write general term n as square root of n square now i will write this square root of n square as n square minus n plus n now from first two term i can write n common or i can consider n common so i will be writing n times n minus 1 plus n and left hand side is also n so again i will put this n value over here see the picture what we, it will come out is square root of n minus 1 times n it is successive numbers plus this is our very first term now i will be writing this n again it is square root of n minus 1 n plus again n square root of n minus n into n like this it will be continued up to infinity so important point is what we are getting let me demonstrate through x term so through this term see it would be 6 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 6 plus up to infinity it is so i can write suppose n is 6 so how i can split i will write in this manner 2 times 3 plus square root of 2 times 3 plus square root of 2 times 3 and see what is our left hand side it is the biggest factor so successive two numbers are 2 and 3 so n minus 1 is 2 n is 3 so you will be writing this value is straight away will be 3 similarly for 42 let me write for 42 plus square root of 42 plus square root of 42 what we will be writing 6 times 7 it is so 6 times 7 plus square root of 6 times 7 plus square root of 6 times 7 and so on so what is result recursive formula or general formula was let me write here once n is equal to square root n minus 1 times n plus square root n minus 1 times n plus square root same so you can see this is your 6 and this is your 7 so what we'll write n n means here we'll write this value is 7 for similarly denominator you will be writing 20 plus square root 20 plus square root 20 so factorization of 20 is 4 times 5 so straight away we can write like this 4 times 5 plus square root 4 times 5 plus square root 4 times 5 so we will write this value as n n means the biggest factor 5 successive biggest factor so 5 so what value we are having let me write so ultimately this expression if suppose this is a so i am having a is equal to 3 plus 7 over 5 
using formula 10 over 5 so answer becomes 2 i hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself